I've been seeing so much weird stuff about her lately, and I'm just trying to understand pretty much what's actually going on. I feel like Morris Critical is like one of the only people that actually gives decent takes on why things are the way they are or what's actually going on in the world. So let's check that out, man. Let's see what's going on with, Bo with Moist. Yeah, big Pokemon Shadow, you been missing out? I've kept the naughty little secret from all of you for the last three weeks, and I feel it's time to just blow the lid off of this and let the cat out of the bag. I've been playing basketball on Sunday mornings as well, so that means two days a week I'm out there becoming the elite hooping machine I was born to be. You <laughs> might just see me walk on in the... In the, in, in the Alright, I just hit a full-blown porky pig right there. What I was trying to say is I might walk on in the NBA. Totally irrelevant to what we're talking about today, but you should know that I'm out there grinding two days a week, pick up basketball. I'm going to be an absolute monster. What's your excuse? Get out there, buster. Enough lollygagging. We're here to talk about the huge Pokemane drama that everyone is discussing right now. Oh so God, for those dude. of you that haven't been following, and I imagine a lot of you maybe haven't, though I think there's an equally likely chance that you have... My brain is scrambled. What happened? I, I left my I left my frontal lobe out on the court today. All right, post lobotomy, <laughs> Charlie. Gonna try and lock it in here. Post lobotomy. Pokemon started a snack company called Mina. It's focused on selling healthy cookies right now with her midnight minis. And immediately it fell into controversy because the price point is very high for some cookies. Twenty eight dollars for four packs of cookies, which comes out to about seven dollars per bag. There's also a lot more moving parts to this drama because a lot of people started to recognize the similarities between Mina's Midnight Minis and Totsi's Midnight Cookies as well. The ingredients on both of these. I, I got How much have you guys ever spent on cookies? Like, how much would you spend on four packs of cookies? Let's be legitimate here. Are pretty much the same, except Mina has some added vitamin D. It's extraordinarily similar. Even just giving it the old eyeball test, it looks like the same product. So a lot of people were saying this is a white labeled thing, which is pretty normal in the influencer $20. space. But she's selling her cookies for much more than the Totsi Midnight Cookies. So I'm not here to just really dive into the nitty gritty on the cookie drama itself. There is so much information on it. She's also come out to try and explain that her Midnight Minis are a refined version of those Totsi Midnight Cookies. Like hers are like improved, which is why they're more expensive and this and that. That's not really what I'm here to dive into and get into the weeds of. She recently went on stream today and I think did the worst possible maneuver you could ever do when trying to sell something <laughs> to your audience. Down crazy. Are like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven. Seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but uh, look, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Anyways. <laughs> Matt was actually the one that sent me this clip today, and I just assumed this had to be some kind of bad joke she tried to tell. That's crazy, bro. Seven dollars a bag? Seven dollars a bag? I wonder how many individual cookies come in that, because how much are Oreos? Like, five ninety nine dollars For, like, 45 cookies? That's what I always judge it off of, like, stuff like that. Chips Ahoy. Like, how much are you spending on Chips Ahoy? You know what I mean? But watching the clip, it seems like she's legitimately upset and actually just calling people that don't want to pay for it or can't afford it broke. That's an elite gamer move that I had to take a step back to process that she would just say that publicly. I was so dumbfounded how many, how many upon hearing that, that I actually went back to her bag? stream VOD where this happened to try and locate this moment to see what happened next. Because this is only 20 seconds. I thought there was a chance that right after it, she's like, no, Bus no, just kidding. I'm six, pulling six your six leg, hearty har har, just a joke. She doesn't do that. Hmm. Like if you're a broke boy, just say so. Anyways, moving on. on. <laughs> Six cookies? If you want to play eight, pay a dollar for Twitter Blue for some pixels, that's okay. That's fine. You spend your money how you want. I'll spend mine how I want. And everyone else will spend theirs how they want. That's the beauty. What is she watching? 
she is. That seems to be where the topic died, at least from what I've skimmed through here. So it doesn't really seem like she was doing this as some kind of like side splitting comedy bit about like broke boy, haha, you know, just kidding. I actually love my fans. She does giggle about it afterwards, but it feels more like hey, hey, condescending. Come on, and then she just says, moving on, it's moving our on. Future, like, gang. Our it's, future. it's just a really <laughs> shitty thing to say. And then she does what a lot of other people do, which I find really weird, which is mentioning Twitter Blue for some reason. Like, Twitter Blue offers this dog shit service for $8. You spend your money on some pixels, whatever. You spend your money how you want, and I'll spend my money how I want. Well, yeah, nobody's forced to purchase your product but or I anything, think you make but they money were having you have a Twitter legitimate Blue discussion too, on the price just being you can a monetize out of their your comfort, comfort zone for what they want to spend on it. Like, it's a discussion her own community was having, and... Then she just, out of nowhere, out of left field, like, if you're broke, just say so. It's like, what the fuck? I have no doubt her manager and her whole team saw this clip and just together took off their hat, stood up, hands on their hips, and they're like, you know what? Why are we here? It was a good try. Hey, <laughs> we, gave, we gave it our best whirl. Like, they had to have seen this and then immediately... I just don't understand how creators like her and Valkyrie... It's like they had like it's like they didn't tell any of their friends or whatever that they were making this and there was like nobody around them that could have like sparked a discussion in their eyes on why it wouldn't be that good of a decision. Cause if you're right, bro, and it was like six cookies, even if it's like ten cookies, bro, like that's a crazy price, boy. That's a crazy price point. Like seven dollars? Yeah, that's that that's crazy, bro. I guess she forgot we don't make millions like her. Yeah, exactly. Cause what? Plus what? They are kind of big cookies, like crumble cookies. Oh. See now I gotta. I'm, I'm gonna have to try some. I'm gonna have to. Cause it's like, like you can In my head, you can't be outraged about something unless you've tried it. Like I can't really give you like my super true opinion. Until I cop it and say, like, you know what I'm saying? Until I see it in my hand. Went up in flames. I don't know what would possess her to say something so rude and nasty to the audience she is trying to sell this product to. To directly shame the consumer Still that you want to <laughs> buy into your product is a, a galaxy brain tactic. A strategy that I'm not sure the success rate of. Like... $28, no matter how you spend this, is a lot for some fucking cookies. And I think the way she keeps trying to break it down and rationalize it is pretty disingenuous. It's $7 a bag and that's still expensive, but then you also have to factor in that the bags aren't even big to begin with. It's four ounces per bag. Four ounces of cookies for $7 is still a lot, especially when you compare it to the the product that they're basing it off of and supposedly approved upon, the Tootsie Midnight Cookies. Four ounces? No, that's crazy. No, that that's that's insane. No, I'm not I'm not buying that. <laughs> I'm not spending money on that shit. What? Four ounces? Those were ten dollars a bag for four serving size. About 14 servings for container. So wait, okay, so seven cookies. What is seven times four, chat? 20, what, 21? No, 28. There's 28 cookies. Ooh, excuse me, there's 28 cookies in there. What? What? It's like a, the exact same wrapper. What did they change? She literally didn't change anything, but adding, she added three milligrams or MC gram micrograms. How did vitamin D not give you? calories how did it stay at 140 calories that's kind of crazy i wonder how that works 
18 ounces. So even though the Tootsie, wait a second, how is it the same amount of calories for less though? Those, oh, it's not because they're both seven cookies. It is both 28 grams. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes were sense. Ten dollars a bag for 14 ounces. So even though the Tootsie Midnight Cookies were three dollars more per bag, they offered you 10 ounces more of product, and they were sold in Costco. A lot of people really enjoyed them, but most people didn't like the price. That was a pain point of that. Ten dollars for a bag of cookies is a lot. So seven dollars for a smaller bag of cookies, significantly smaller, is a lot too. That's like, a lot, it, bro. It doesn't almost, matter how you boil down this math. Less servings. All roads lead to this being an expensive product. That's the brass tax of it. That is the hard pill to swallow. There's really no way of spinning this where $28 for a four pack of these cookies isn't expensive. It is. And then all she did was add a second row and change the packaging from pink to blue. Like that, that sounds crazy to me. That sounds crazy. Like she didn't do any work at all for this product. Like there was no science put into that. Like all she did was take something that already existed and slap her name on it. That's why I'd be wondering why people be backing stuff so hard. Cause it's like, if you truly cared, you, like she got the money to do testing and to figure out what the best of the best really is. You know what I'm saying? So like, why wouldn't you go the legitimate route? Why would you, why would you go half? Why would you half ass it? You know what I'm saying? Like somebody like me would need to, somebody like me would need to, partner with somebody at how low my stuff is right now you know what i'm saying like i would need a partner with somebody to use what they have but like somebody like her bro she could have did all this from scratch you know what i'm saying and to try and call people broke for not buying it or not being able to afford it is really some out of touch shit and the really foul part about all of this that my little noodle will never be able to wrap itself around There's is more? a streamer calling their audience broke or poor Bub, you're yeah, that's mad crazy, especially when the audience is pretty much the people that pay for your whole existence. So, like, pretty much, like, I know that a lot of this was like going on as far as drama. So, there were probably a lot of people in her chat that weren't actually fans of her that were just there to like mess with her, you know what I'm saying? But, how is it? How is it in her head that she? could even like in my head i think she could have just addressed it differently because like how do you come to the conclusion that people like i you know what how could i put it i'm trying to like understand because like i'm trying to think of because i've had like some things in life like so what do you call it uh you guys ever like you know when you go to like stores or you go to certain things and like there's certain things that you value over other things like there's certain like things in life, right? That like you may look at like a burger or something and you're like, oh, I'm going to go get this expensive burger because the cheap burger is trash. You know what I'm saying? But like in your head, you know that like this burger that you like and the reason why you like it is probably because it's at like a higher price point. You know what I'm saying? And it's probably like something different, like something better done for it or it's just handled better. You know what I'm saying? So like you spend more money on it because in a way you think that it's gonna like give you a better experience is that what i'm trying to say so like how is it like it's it's almost justifiable to be like okay maybe niggas are broke but at the same time if she had just like if there was like something legitimate done here like in my eyes right when somebody comes out with a brand like this and they actually do the work to like make it what it is, it would have been more respectable if for months leading up to this, I just saw a Pokemon testing out like a thousand different cookies, testing out, oh, if you slow cook them like this or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Or if you use this specific ingredient recipe, like if she could sit there and tell me why that cookie costs what it costs besides it just being her name, like even when like, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but like there's a lot of people who like they charge an expensive price for stuff because they know that people are going to buy like you ever seen like there's some creators, right? That charge like a hundred and like twenty dollars for a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Like a hundred and twenty dollars for like a hoodie, but it's like the hoodie only costs them like seven dollars to make the hoodie. You know what I mean? But they'll put this like super upcharge on the hoodies or on the clothing when they didn't do any type of testing themselves to like figure out that price point. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, it's like when I know that people are putting their own, like, if I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I've seen like the Simon clothing warehouses and like how many times they go through making like a certain hoodie and figuring out and doing all this different testing to figure out like, okay, cool. This hoodie is going to be like mad dope. Or even if you, if you're actually a person that cops like the gear from the Simon, then I feel like you probably know, but like I've had, I have like four hoodies now and each hoodie is different, right? Like one of my hoodies, the, the strings on it, right? They're like, it's like a little bit cheaper and they don't have these like the little tips on the edge of the strings, right? And also the hoodie at the bottom, it's like a little bit thicker with like that little like elastic band part, you know what I'm saying? So like you could tell that when they made the next hoodie, they figured out like, okay, cool. We need to use like a more expensive quality on the bottom waistband part so it doesn't like shrink when they wash it or so that it doesn't like it doesn't get like mad like just weird on the washing part and then also the strings like the strings on one of my hoodies they don't even come like all the way out almost as if they figured out like okay cool we can put some extra stitching in the thing to where the strings won't become uneven or like unaligned you know what i'm saying or like the neck part of the shirt won't get worn out if people tie the part like the neck string down it's like a quality thing like exactly like a quality thing like if i could just see that you took your time and like you're like a lot of times with brands you're paying for the time right even when it comes down to like paying somebody for like their job or like what they do like a handyman like a lot of times you're paying for the years and years and years that it took for them to come in and take five minutes even though it took five minutes you're, it, you might think, oh, I need to pay less for that. But the reason why it took five minutes is because that person had a lot of skill developed to get there, you know? And it's like, I feel like Pokemon just slapped their name on something. That's why people can't respect it. Because it, there was no real, like, work put in making the cookies. She just changed the brand. You feel me? Or it's wealth crazy. was built on their backs them watching you supplied you with money through the ads that get played to them them directly donating to you took their money and gave it to you if they weren't watching you you would be getting no sponsors which make up a lot of streamers income you need them and you are dropping trouser and shitting in their mouth right now by just insulting them over them having legitimate criticisms over the price point of the product it makes no sense your wealth was accumulated because of these people you're now calling broke and poor. It is incomprehensible to me. You were made from these people that you are now shaming. It's so weird and so fucked up. Now, to, again, $28 for a four pack of cookies is a hard bargain. This is already priced out a normal consumer. This is purely for your fans that want to support you. So they are the only ones that will likely be buying this. $28 is not going to be like mass adopted by just normal snack shoppers and enthusiasts that want a good healthy snack i don't Facts. think it is a lot even compared to nobody's other not, you're not gonna randomly I do get buy healthy that. snacks i know what a lot of these prices are this is still an expensive product i wouldn't be paying 28 dollars for a four pack of cookies unless that came with five strippers and legitimately <laughs> every vitamin and nutrient my body could ever need and then guarantee that i'd get three inches taller by the time i finish the four bags now that's not saying that the quality <laughs> of the cookies is bad or something like they look good they might be extraordinary i probably would enjoy them they're probably pretty tasty but they are an expensive product that i probably Probably wouldn't pay for this is definitely something that is 100% geared and marketed towards her audience of fans that want to support her and now she is publicly shaming a, a big chunk I want to know how good, they don't want to how good they did how good they spend $28 That's what I want on some cookies like it's just it's a very fair thing for people to talk about like hey Pokimane this is kind of a lot for ah, I think about it what are they call again Mina what are they called? This is how you can tell, honestly. They should be sold out, right? Limited edition merch? They dropped a Black Friday merch sale? Jesus Christ. One time purchase or a snack club delivery. So every month, wait, every month you get a four pack? It's supposed to take me a month to eat a four pack? Dude, I need like a 12 pack. Dude, that'd be crazy. 
So you can still order them? Yeah, if you can still order them, I mean, that's kind of crazy. Well, I don't cap to you, because in my head, in my head at least, you can't get the, unless they're made to order. You guys think it's made to order? Oh, wow. You can just cop it. Okay, that's kind of crazy. I wonder how much it, I wonder, I don't know. I wonder how much they sold. I gotta know. For the cookies and for her to go on stream and boil it down to people being idiots who can't do math or a broke boy. Yeah, or broke. Just, Mostly just broke. That's so what she was really saying. Everybody mean, was broke ahead. And, and just bad. Like, not only just up, from like, a personality perspective to say some shit like that and shame people that support you, but it's also just bad from a business perspective because this is all sold off of your reputation and people wanting to support you. And now you've done a huge disservice to that here. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. And it's something that three years ago she criticized another streamer for. Like, it seems like she recognizes that insulting your audience Wait, for their financial situation is a horrible thing to do. Because three years ago she made these tweets in response to someone who was like shaming their audience over like not donating $5 or subbing for $5. I saw people passing around these tweet links and like, she clearly was able to recognize then like hey a lot of people that watch you might not be in the best financial so she got she was a little broker back then and she was able to understand us you know what i'm saying but now that she's making them racks she can't understand it that's what it seemed like to me now like she's probably at a point back then she was probably at a point where she had to like think about the money she was spending whereas now she probably like literally probably hasn't even thought about like a total or a price value at all in years like there's it's probably been a minute since she's had to be like oh this costs this or this costs you know what i'm saying ah, that's oh dude i don't know i am confused i actually ain't no broke boy also i rather support joe at least he understands kind of, come on bro that's what i'm talking about that's i'm trying to understand what she doesn't understand because or who told like because you got to think about it bro like she knows everybody there's no way like she didn't hit up a bunch of because even she said it she sent forms to a lot of influencers to sign up to get the cookies before they came out. So a lot of people had to know about this. Now, did they know how much it costs? I don't know, but there's no way that nobody like said anything about this. But think about it. There are people who shop at that Air One store in LA and they don't think twice about it. Have you guys ever heard of that store? That crap is expensive. It's like you could spend like $30, $40 on a drink situation but that doesn't mean you need to be you know nasty to them about it or make them feel bad about it or try and shame them or insult them but then three years later she just did i don't know how this is going to play out for the future of her new snack company it's definitely not a great start not really hitting the ground running a bit of a, a stumble here i would say but i guess who really knows maybe her audience responds really positively to this kind of thing i'm, I'm not certain personally i feel it's a terrible look i've never really respected when people try and look down on others who have less money than them or insult them for you know not being as wealthy as they are i think that is just absolute trash behavior so this was a, a pretty surprising clip to see floated around today Jedi, you uh, that that's fish? really about it so yeah Oh my god, Jedi, do you remember the Bang Bang Shrimp? Oh, every time I think about it, I nut.